Hello and welcome to another Scratch tutorial. Um, today we're going to be working again on the platformer that we started. Um, so um, this is part two if you haven't already done the platformer tutorial. Um, just go to the playlist for this or you can just look it up under my channel or it's probably pretty obvious where to find it. I don't have that many videos right now. Okay, so um, the first thing that we know about platformers is that they have multiple levels. We left off less time with less levels. I bet someone was able to make more levels, but yeah, let's do it anyway. Let's make this a little shorter so that it works. And then let's make some jumpy things. So um, something that we know about platformers is Oftentimes, they have lava. So I'm thinking, let's add some lava. Now, adding lava is surprisingly simple. It's like three lines of code. So first, let's make our lava color. This will be the easiest one to make. Um, let's make... Let's turn this down all the way for now. Make another platform right here. Then let's add some lava. Oops, I have this selected still. Now let's add some lava. Let's add some right here. Um, let's add some up here. We can just add some like sitting right here. Um, then let's make our next, our go to next level thing. And if you don't remember, mine was 17. It's going to be a nightmare. Okay. Okay. I, I don't like this part of new sh scratch. You used to be able to save custom colors. Okay. Um, just because I'm not sure what your jumping scripts are like, but I'm, I think there might be some way to do it, so I'm just gonna go no risk. Now, oh, we want to leave it right there. If we go over to the scripts, let's just duplicate this one. All we have to do is remove the switch backdrop to next backdrop and change the color to lava colored. So now if we start the game, oops, there's another cool thing. You can really configure it to be your own platformer. So now if you hit red, you die. Um, another thing we need to add in a second, which it did not add in pretty much any things I've actually made before, um, is something that... <laughs> Um, it's, I, I've kind of overlooked a couple of times. Every time it resets, you want to set both of these to zero. So, like, if, it, it will start exactly the same as any other time. So, like, okay, it doesn't want to let me do it, but if I were to drag it over there, then start moving really fast, I would still start with the same velocity. Um, let's just change that level a little bit, because I want to introduce one other thing. I'm not making this the way I would normally structure a game. Usually I would have a couple levels before between introducing new concepts. I would use I would also make this a lot cleaner looking and probably be more careful. Um, there we go. Okay. So let's try the level really quick. No, stop notifications. Hide. Okay, there we go. Um, so now we can jump over here and we have to avoid all the lava and if we jump and yeah, I think I made it the wrong color. Um, but you kind of get the idea. Okay. Bucket. I'm going to select this one. Okay. 17. I 
fill. I'm going to pick it up from right here. Are you kidding me? Come on. Okay, let's go Okay, let's go see what this color is. Fill. 17 100 100. So if we go over here 100 100 bucket. So let's try this again. Okay, there we go. See, so, so it does work. Um, next thing we want to do is lay bouncy platform. I I don't know why I said that. Um, I really like bouncy platforms personally. Um, so um, let's just make our end thing right here while we still have the color. Let's just make it same corner as usual. Uh, it's such a gross color. <laughs> okay. Um, now let's make this our platform color. I, I like making bouncy platforms yellow a lot and making the exit, or the, not the exit, the, um, the, um, like, portal at the end of the level, whatever you want to call it. Let me draw a rectangle. There we go. Um... I usually like making those um, green and making bouncies yellow, but also um, often I make the exits yellow and the it, and then I make the bouncy platforms yellow or um, yellow or purple. So let's make it purple. Let's actually make it kind of pinkish, because 80 is an easy number to remember on, like, 17. <laughs> now let's make a little... Oops. Undo. Okay, I like type in. Nope. They make this so hard, you know. Ah! Do you know how much I really hate Scratch? The answer is... A lot. Actually, it's mostly just new Scratch. Okay. Now let's make it the color of our bouncy platform. Okay. Now let's make it right here. This shall be bouncy. Um, I might make a water one or something in the future. I've done that in some of my games. It's a little more complicated. Not something I would do in one of these tutorials. So let's duplicate this. Whoops. Whoopsie. And we want to switch the backdrop to the one that actually has the platform on it. It makes it so much easier. Just... Don't start. So, yeah. Are you kidding me? Okay, whatever. Um, so let's just make sure this works. Okay, apparently it's 79. We're going to have to get rid of those two, throw those out, and then set YV to something. I'm going to say, like, 25, which is kind of ridiculous, but really not. Let's just play all of our levels for whatever reason. Um, if you don't know, purple's my favorite color, by the way, if you were wondering. I don't think anyone was. <laughs> um, darn it. Oh, also, um... Next, we might add, like, a death meter or something, so every time you die, you, lose, um, you like, make another death point or whatever. And you can use that to give people scores or something. This is incredibly difficult. You see why I'm not, like, a gamer? Also, I have no access to video games. Not really. Like, yeah, okay. There we go, okay. 
So now, if we go over here, bounce. Um, so now you have a pretty good base to build your own games. This is all for this tutorial, and I will see you in the next one. And always make sure to save.